738 new this morning. We want to highlight something special happening in Prince William County. That is where students are just about 20 minutes away from the start of the first aerial drone competition there. This is all happening at Unity Reed High School. Jerome Haruska is the head of the robotics uh, at Unity Reed joining us live this morning to talk about this. Uh, good morning. We appreciate you being with us. Uh, walk us through what is happening today. This is a, a huge competition. 28 teams. That's right, 28 teams are going to be here at Unity Reed today. The doors just opened, so the students are starting to come in now and they're starting to set up in the pit areas. This is an aerial drone competition, the first of its kind in Prince William County. Those 28 teams come from Virginia, D.C., West Virginia, and they're all competing today to try to get to the next level, which is a regional event, and then maybe on to nationals after that. I mean, that is incredible. What kind of preparation and training do these students have to go through to get ready for a competition like today? That's an excellent question. The, 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 the main skill set that we're working on with students in this event is communication and collaboration. So the, they have an autonomous flight path they have to fly with their drones, which they pre-program that flight path. And then it gets even more complicated because one of their partners is behind a screen. It's behind a blind, so to speak. So then they have to figure out how to communicate with that person to fly the drone blind. But it gets even more complicated because there's two matches happening simultaneously. So they can't use standard words. They have to come up with their own communication system. And that communication collaboration is a tremendous skill set that they're going to need in the 21st century of the workforce. And that is incredible. And as you're talking, we're watching some of the video of these drones, what these students have to do to compete. Uh, give us a little bit more detail and walk us through these four different missions of the competition today. Well, they have to, uh, the drones themselves have to fly through hoops, over hoops, around hoops. They have to uh, use their propellers in a unique way as well. They're moving uh, plastic balls and rollers on the floor. They don't actually pick anything up. They just use the air from the drone to move things around. And then they have to park in a very specific spot. And all this is done teamwork wise, but there's multiple drones flying around simultaneously. So they got to watch out for each other. They got to talk to each other. It's pretty intense. That is incredible. We know that drones, robotics, they're used in so many aspects of our lives today, from construction to space exploration. Talk about the opportunities for students that this opens up down the road uh, and, and what future jobs this could really set them up for. One of our focuses in, in Prince William County is, is launching thriving futures. We're literally doing that with this because the drone skills they're going to learn uh, can take them into aerial photography, aerial inspection, uh, security inspection. So many of the facilities around here in Prince William County, our defense contractors, have drone teams on site that do aerial inspection. So there's tremendous job opportunities coming specifically from this one of our eight robotics platforms in Prince William County. That is incredible. Okay, quickly, we've got about 20 seconds left. Uh, details on where people can come out if they want to show support to the students today. We're at Unity Reed High School in Manassas. Uh, it's, uh, it's been here since 1971. We love the school. It's 50 years old now, and we're going strong. We're changing. We're, we're doing new things every year, and we can't wait to. People can come anytime. There's no gate fee. Come on in and watch the drone competition. All right, that is incredible. Wishing all those students well. Jerome Horesco, we appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you, Marcel. Have a good day.